Hello, this is Big Bang Bot. Today I have a special guest with me, and no, it is not Crash. Instead, it's Yoshi! Yoshi! So, Yoshi, how do you feel being on my show? Ah, it's great, Big Bang Bot. It's just so good. Anyway, Yoshi, I'm aware that you're secretly a Crash fan. Yes, I really love Crash Bandicoot. It's not as good as Yoshi's Island, but it's still a guilty pleasure for me. Nobody in the Mushroom Kingdom knows that I like playing Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, that's cool. So, Yoshi, t today we'll be reacting to Mikey Angry Birds' reaction on Ma on your favourite Crash game. Crash Team Racing! Oh, I thought it was Crash 2. Well, that's my second favourite. Anyway, this will be our, me and Yoshi's... My and Yoshi's reaction on Mikey Angry Birds' reaction on my Crash 2 review. Now, just let you know, you forgot to put the re-review part in the re in the title. And why did you ever put comments in my re reviews? No, why? I'm just wondering why, don't you? I know that you may make your reaction video so you might think it's pointless, but that doesn't stop me from doing it. Plus, I still want to know in advance what you thought of the review in my review, so that's something. So I'm just going to ask him this. <laughs> you forgot. The re-review part. So, yes. Anyway, I'm going to start watching this. Wait, is this his first time watching? Because one, he doesn't mention it anywhere. And second off, he uploaded this uh, one day after the review. So, I actually don't know what's going to happen. So... Anyway, I, and yes, I've checked to see if the video, you know, has broken audio. And no, it doesn't, so that's cool. And as for the game's history, it be, it started, its development started shortly after Crash 1, and it had a more advanced engine than Crash 1. <laughs> There's a character in Crash 2 called Engine, so that's actually quite funny. <laughs> and the game was released worldwide in 1997, and then the PSN version came out in 2007. Okay, original version 1997, PSM version 2007, even though the North American PSM version came out in 2008, and the European version was taken down because of evil hacking, so it was re-released on PSN like 2012, I think, or 2011. It doesn't... Band of P doesn't even mention the European release on PSN. Wikipedia does, but I'm not looking on that now. And the game received positive reviews, and PlayStation Magazine even gave it a 5 out of 5. And that's cool, I agree with PlayStation Magazine. So, we're gonna watch this video, aren't we, Yoshi? Yep! Woohoo! guessing he's seen TMNT 3 and if you haven't seen TMNT then you can't say that it sucks. I mean you can. I'm guessing that TNT TMNT 3 sucks a lot but if I end up watching it I might find it a guilty pleasure and so would you if you haven't watched it. So I don't know. What are your thoughts on TMNT? The Ninja Turtles look too much like me. First off Yoshi they look nothing like you and second off they came first. Then does that mean I look too much like them? Well, I guess it does. Oh, come on! Sorry about that, Yoshi. But life sucks sometimes. Plus, are you going to see the new TMNT movie this month? Well, first off, the British version of the UK release is releasing, like, October, I think. And second off, I'm not even going to watch the movie. But it's made by Michael Bay, so that will be tons of explosions! Oh, shut up, Yoshi. Not even explosions will sell me the movie. What about Michael Bay? Not even he can sell me the movie. 
he turns them into aliens from what I first heard of the movie back in like 2013. And I've, and I've never even watched a single TMNT related thing, just reviews on like some of the movies and that's it. And like on his trailers and stuff like that, whatever. Shell balls. And this one's actually called... And as for games, I've only really played the demo for Turtles in Time Read Shelled. Did you like it? Well, it was the HD version, and it was only a demo, and it was okay, I guess, but I just can't say anything else. Even though he forgot to put the re review bit in the title. Wow, 40 minutes long? And he says only? Wow, that must be lightning fast for a, for a review, even though it's my second longest review. Well, that seems, wasn't a shame. Well, yeah. I, um, now, here's something I want to put a heads up to you. I am going to make a more trailery trailer for my next review, as in more like a movie trailer. And I think you'll be pretty, and I think that you should make a reaction video on that. Because you might actually really like what I'm going to review. I'm not telling you what it is, but you can just guess all you want. The video was released on 10th of November 2013. It wasn't released exactly on Christmas. It was released on, according to Bandipedia, it says December 18th for Japan, and normal Wikipedia says... Stupid secrets bit. December 18th. And December 18th isn't Christmas, you know. Christmas is 25th. How dare you say that Jesus Christ was born on the 18th of December, you evil person! I've heard rumours it was actually born in the middle of the summer. Well, it was born on... Well, I believe it was born on Christmas Day, otherwise Christmas Day would be in summer. Deal with it, guys, deal with it. Okay, Yoshi. You don't have to be overly religious. After all, back when you were made, Nintendo was still anti-religion. Yeah, those... silly people at Nintendo of America. According to normal Wikipedia, it, it was 6th of December. And the re release of the game for PSM was February 2nd, 2011, and the original release on PSM was July 26th, 2007. Hello, and this is Big Bang Bond. Today, I will be re-reviewing Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back, for the Sony PlayStation, also known as my second favourite Crash game! In Japan, as Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex no Gogo Kachu. <laughs> On the title screen, they say something like, Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex no Gogo Kachu. That's what it sounds like they say on the title screen. I am not a Japanese expert. I may know a bit, but I'm not an expert. Let me just say that. Oh, sorry for my pronunciation. And I believe that it translates to Crash Bandicoot 2 called a sort of get ya. Even I heard that on, like, a Let's Play of the Japanese version. Which actually had Cool Pro 195 in it. So that was interesting. No, no. Of course, Cortex is gonna get ya. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know if this is true because I'm no Japanese expert, but I just don't know anything. So, I mean, everywhere on the internet says it's Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back, except for that one video. And on the box it says Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. I don't know if you can see it, but it, that says Cortex Strikes Back. And on the side, whoops, wrong side. That's the Japanese side, which is correct. It says Coltex Strikes Back, which was obviously a typo. I mean, that's just weird. I know that Japanese people turn L's into R's, but still, it, that is a silly mistake. That That isn't even on the whole 
box. It's only in the on the spine. Box. It says Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Dragon. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Coltex Strikes Back. Oh, I'm so sorry. It clearly says Coltex Strikes Back. Oh, oh, you got you wrong. It's Cortex Strikes Back. Don't blame me. Blame whoever made the Japanese. Whoever translated the everything for the Japanese box. Whoever put the English title in the Japanese box. That's a US name. It's a fake US name. Maybe it's like false advertisement. Thank you for... I'm pretty sure it's just a typo. Troll us, Sony and Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog. But... You can play some great Crash games with the PS3. Because, uh... Sony no Crash games on the PS3. I'm just hoping for a new Crash game for the PS4. Sierra is back in business, and I'm hoping that they make a new Crash game. Now, I know that Naughty Dog should... would be the best people to make it, but... Hopefully Sierra will do a good job on a new Crash game if they make a new Crash game. Which, and I hope, and even if it's another Mutants game, I think I'll still want to play it. Well, may, well I won't make it by PS4, but a uh, Crash game in the style of the original games, you, you sold me. Just do that. But I don't think, but will that happen? Because Wrath of Cortex was similar to the classics, yet everyone complained. And yet when Titans came out, everyone complained that was too different. Seriously, fanboys are the weirdest people in existence. Naughty Dog has licensed to these games. That's a good thing. You can play them on, like, on the PS3, but what about the PS Vita? No? Let's find out. It's because Sony's evil. They don't want you to play the best games on the PS1. They don't want you to experience what made me fall in love with Sony. They do not want me you to play the best games that PlayStation had to offer. They don't want you to play games released back in the glory days of gaming. They do not want you to play games that were released back in the era when Nintendo wasn't the only kid-friendly company. Oh, that's just enough. Well, Sony was also not kid friendly, but Crash and Spyro perfectly kid friendly and adult friendly, or adult, or whatever you want to say. I'm so sorry, Japanese box of Crash Two. I'm just so sorry. <laughs> so, anyway, despite that typo, this is basically a sequel to the original Crash Bandicoot. And a quick history lesson was that sometime after the first game, or shortly after the first game, the creator decided to make a sequel. Yeah, you really should charge your computer more. Why? I don't know, probably because the original was very successful. I mean, come on! If your non-Japanese game manages to sell over, five, over half a million copies in Japan, then you know that you have a successful game. So, they decided to make a sequel, and they made an engine which was way more powerful than the engine that was used in the first game. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Get it. Wait, that's better? Oh, you, you're just joking. What are you doing there? I heard that it's like three times faster than Crash 1's engine. Because one of the characters in the game is called Engine. <laughs> oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> so, don't forget that... There's a character in the game called Engine, and I only just thought of that after I said Engine the second time, and I just wanted to point that out. Anyway, this game. You he obviously that doesn't find it funny. No one finds it funny. It's just a little joke. It was released on Halloween two, 1997. I nearly said 2007. I mean, what? <laughs> I hope you know what boy I said. 20... 29... 9, 9, 7. <laughs> because... That would be very weird. That... We still got... <laughs> over 27,000 years to wait till then. Oh, in North America. A ton of Crash games released in December! I mean, <laughs> was Crash and Bandicoot a Christmas thing? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because of the marketing campaign? Christmas release date? Dude, because of that, it's a freaking snowball with the sequel. Because I didn't remember when we played these games. Only remember all those 90s stuff, like some Dreamworks 
He said that the game was easy Christmas was just because of the snow level. First off, the snow level wasn't a Christmas level. Second off, the first game was released in... The first and the third game were also released in December, but they had no snow levels whatsoever. And I know that for a fact. And... Third off, it might have just been Japan's marketing campaign, but... It's just... It's just something I noticed. A lot of Japanese Crash games come out in December. And that's interesting. Some other stuff. But I have to play all those PS4 games. I don't know if it's because of a Christmas theme, because most Japanese people are either Hindus or I forgot the other religion, but it's not Christianity. Now Christianity most definitely exists in Japan. Japan definitely does some Christmassy stuff, but still. It's interesting that they really saw Crash Crash Your Bunny games in December. But anyway, the game was, was received more positive reviews than the first game, and it sold just as well. You said positive, maybe it, but maybe Crash Me has that critical acclaim for all the first two, uh, but these, the first two, Crash 1 and Crash 2 has positive reviews. That's a shame, maybe they dodgy uh, fall into the dust. I can see why Crash 1's reviews were mixed, but Crash 2 I don't see it at all. The first game, in fact, the Japanese version of the game. From what I've heard, criticism does come from the levels not having as uh, having that much variety, and I can definitely agree on that. I mean, you see every level at the very least twice, and if and if it's not any fan, if you don't see it twice, you see it three times. Back to the jungle, you see it four times. Surely two of them are dark, but still, you. I mean, I can try and name all of the level themes. There's jungle plus the dark jungle, polar bear. Snow, jet ski, or hoverboard, sewers, boulders, ruins, beehives, normal space, jetpack, and did I miss any others? Did I? Because I just need to think about it. I named 10, and I think that 10 is all of them. Although I can double check if you want. Now where's Bandipedia, 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 Bandipedia? Just... Okay, I need to learn more. Jungle, snow, stream, jungle, wait, jungle, snow, stream, chase, polar, sewer, ruins, mountain, mechanics, jetpack. Yeah, I did name all of them, even if they do have different names on Mandipedia. So, yeah, there's ten level themes. That's totally creative! Yoshi, would you mind talking more? But I don't know what to say! You've got the perfect lines! It's just, you're, you're talking about this, not me! Oh, still talk a bit more, Yoshi. Okay! It's sold over a million copies. Now that is a success! For Japanese standards. <laughs> In fact, one million is successful worldwide, and considering how successful one million copies of a game is around seven billion people, or there's less than seven billion in 1997 or whatever, you could only imagine what it's like in Japan when there's one million out of around 127 million. That is successful. That is so successful for Japan, especially when the game wasn't even made in Japan. Because Japan mostly doesn't care about what we make. But to be fair, unless it's Nintendo, we don't really care about what they make. So, yeah. So, considering that this game sold over one... Well, except if it's Nintendo Final Fantasy. But other than that, or Capcom. But other than that, we don't care about what Japan makes. Just like they don't care what we make. 
million in Japan and a ton more worldwide and the fact that PlayStation Magazine gave us a 5 out of 5 I've got a Well, I hope you have a joint for your vacation aka holiday in the UK Maybe you're going to French to on the holiday There's not a place in the world called French, silly uh, Are you honest? Mid-August? Can I make a shit? Do you need to take a break to your reviews because I had to do like reaction? I had to take a break to reaction because I had to do like YTB videos even though it's actually contained It's rated TV, uh, rated 17, 17 or MA. Check this out! No, really! We don't. Wait, he's talking about MA in America. In Britain, in the UK, in like England, here's how our rating system works. You, PG, 12, 15, and 18. That's for movies. We do not have a TV rating system. The end. I just have to, I just gotta go. So it was 12A, but I always ignore that. We'll get the disc right now. Okay. Okay, now this is the case that contains all my loose PS1 games and a few other loose discs, but oh, I hate the word loose, but whatever. Just gonna look through is Crash Bandicoot 2. We're gonna go to my original PlayStation. Get out of the way, stuff. Oh, gosh, why are you being evil? Don't always kill those fires. I'm not being evil. You know why you're so useful for that? Or wherever he starts. Okay, let me put the South Park joke. He should have put it on before. He said joke. That is what I use for you when I don't know what the beat you're talking about. Oh, okay, it's still chills. Even though I have swimwear, it's because I'm gonna go to the pool for now. I understand it gives you chills. I mean, it scared me when I was a kid, but it doesn't give me chills anymore. It's absolutely fine. And it's nothing compared to the red screen on the PS2. That, when I was little, that was so... That was like the scariest thing ever for me. Although I have managed to get used to it, considering the doubt of my import collecting, but the, it, uh, the mixture with the red background and the creepy music, it's not a good mixture. Or it's, uh, well, if, or well, for creepiness, it's a perfect mixture, but whatever. The story of the game, or well, at least the first part of it, it takes place right after the original. And do you want to know how? Wait a minute. It's a, it's like a Maybe it's called Crash Bandicoot 1.5. Cortez gotta get ya. There's no Crash Bandicoot 1.5. Sorry about that. Okay, that's gonna be a cool name. Maybe called Crash Bandicoot 1.5. I don't think we'll ever see Crash Bandicoot 1.5. Crash Bandicoot is taking forever to return. I bought my PS4 hoping that there'll be a new Crash game, but nope, there's not. I hold off, I held off to my PS3. No new Crash game. That's why I got rid of my PS3, because there was no crash. Life sucks sometimes. Put that straight back, or you get, get, or you get caught. Oh, right. Here comes the joke. Whatever you say. Anyway, our default weapon is snow. <laughs> He's terrible at managing clips. <laughs> After I mean, well... I'm just going to show you. And I don't know if you don't understand me, but... I don't know. Ow. Right after it is. Bam! Yeah. Whatever you said. Any Crash Bandicoot franchise? What? Why would you randomly say that? Oh, 
Wow. He was talking about whiny. Whiny wine. I love wine! Shush, Yoshi. That's pretty straight after. I know, I know, hey, look, it's the new main collectible. Power crystals! Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, that's always it. So basically, the game takes. Okay. Here comes the joke again. Yeah. Whatever he said. Anyway, I'll. Cortex said dull, and, and I and I don't know how obvious it was what I said, but I found it pretty clear. Let me head back. Place, as in the rest of the game. I thought that he would be insulted that I used that joke, but no, he's using it himself. I thought he'd literally be insulted that I used that joke. I thought he would literally be insulted, but he wasn't. I mean, he... No, I'm pretty sure that's a good way to insult people, but he wasn't insulted. Oh, some people are weird. Takes place one year after the original, and then one year. It's like it's like Charles played three, it's like takes months, like eight years after Charles played two. What the heck, Universal? Are you blowing your weed? Yeah. Whatever he said. And no, I am not blowing my weeds. Guess he finds saying the word bum bum funny. Okay. A guy called Engine who does research on power crystals, I guess. Okay. And they need 25 more. That's right, 25 more. And you can insert your more crabs joke right here. Cortex needs someone to collect them for him, and who does he get for the job? And considering that this kid is a more crabs fan, I'm considering that he didn't mention that. Why he gets crashed, of course, because this wouldn't be a game otherwise. And wait, who the beep is this? No, seriously, who the beep is this? Where's Torna? Where is Torna? Oh wait, that's a very long explanation on why Torna isn't in the game. And I haven't done the annotations yet, as of when I'm recording this, and I really should. It's a long story. Stay with me a little bit, because it's not cheap, we're going to make it a bit good. But at Reddit, eat, eat, or Reddit, eat, and plug, that should be right next. Just to let you know, eat, and plus didn't exist until Donkey Kong Country, no, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat came out in, like, 2004. Women, a little bit rassy, or rassle. Um, made it with Mega Movie, I've seen my dad, Diver Cop, that's that G case, remember, that's Rassy too. Game, and Digital Gaming will explain that to you, so go watch that, and that girl's name is Coco, so yeah. whatever, I do that's know this. Sir, you know. B. Yes, I do know this stuff, because unlike you, I've played Crash a lot. Since I was a little kid, until now. But anyway. Yeah, I know, Crash sister, that's for me. Uh, cool, cool. I do wonder when the last time we ever touched the Crash game was. I wonder. Cortex tells Crash to collect the crystals for him. I, but, but Cortex does not tell him he wants them for evil reasons. Instead, Cortex wants you to get them for a different reason. And that's reason... Obvious! He obviously! ...wants you to... You find them to help the environment. That's right, help the environment. Even though he's lying. Liar! Oh, oh gosh, I remember that. He doesn't even like the joke. He didn't even... He just made a bunch of comments in my uh, trailer for the video. No likes, no favourites, and for the review, only a favourite. That's confusing. Excuse me. 
But why haven't you put these videos into my request video? Seriously, why haven't you? Why didn't you put them in my request video? The whole reason I made that video was so people could request reviews. Yet you requested none. Absolutely none. Absolutely none. Absolutely none. I know you're angry, Big Bang Bot, and it's annoying. Yes, I am so angry, and this annoys me so much, and I just want to jump out a window and aim for an umbrella. Which, and, I, and once when I was a little kid, I was I tried to jump out the window, and I said that my excuse for doing it was I was aiming for, for an umbrella. No, oh, really, I was a very stupid little kid. <laughs> Seriously, put all of your review requests in my request video. So seriously, go, just go and do that right now. Seriously, do that. Just go crazy with requests. Put as many in as you like. I'm not restricting you from anything. Just go and do it. Do it! If the game of plot, obviously. And there's not really much to say other than Cortex is a troll. Seriously. Alright. Although I am surprised that... His new favorite, most requested video is like Crash from Sanity, or is it Chicken Run, or is it Skull Monkeys? I don't know. I, I always thought it was a Spyro game because you were requesting that from me for so long, and you're not requesting it anymore. And I've got a question for you, which I want to see in the comments. Do you still want me to review Spyro 2? Leave it in the comments, please. I might do it in the future, but. I want to know if you do it, and if, if you still want me to do it, and if you still want me to do it, then chances are you'll see it sooner. The end. Oh, smash master show. Okay. What's he doing? Now let's put on the originality. Why? The illusion. No, no. Come don't get no strong back when this game was being made. I would have called the game Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Trolls Back. Or Crash Bandicoot 2 Troll Tex Trolls Back. Looks like he finds it funny. And seriously, Big Bang Bot's being serious. Please put all of your ideal requests in the comments. In his rea in his actual Request video, just do that! In fact, I'm gonna tell him right now. <laughs> review, no, review. Request. That just makes me so angry. Why do you want to put in the original? The original? Does he think my jokes are unoriginal? Is a troll. Seriously. If I was, if I was... As mentioned. I still don't get why I did that. Okay, okay. I don't want to get why... Uh, because it's going to be... I'm going to get in trouble or I should cancel all that. So yeah, so that's going to be stupid. But I think it's going to be cool. Because Cortex really is a troll. Yes. Yeah. And we all know it. <laughs> Now he finds it funny and not odd. Stop!
stop singing it and react to Postman Pat's Snow Motion. <laughs> Why don't you react to a random video with me in it? That'll be interesting. Yoshi, there are tons of YouTube poops on the Mario cartoons which have you in them. He can easily do that. He could do the Sky had a Ouija after all. It has. It does have over 10 million views. Ah, oh, Yoshi, your I, your requests are weird. I don't care. Tomatoes, bad language, you name it. Tomatoes, get it? Apples to tomatoes are red. It's the original. Apples are sometimes green. Originality? Quality! Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Usually I'd go crazy, bud. You know. It's just, you're just, you, it's just, oh, it just doesn't fit. It just doesn't fit. I don't know why he's doing it. Even with the gameplay being similar to the first game, but hugely improved. I noticed that the word beep is way too wimpy for him. Dad Blu-ray? I can't even see it properly. I need to go back to the original video just so I can see what he's talking about. Oh my good. Plus, I could be watching Till Game Master right now. But no, I'm here reacting to this. Questioning his choices, no. his use of words. There are these power crystals I... in each level, which you have to collect because oh if my you God, don't, YouTube something you can't. Dumb. My internet sometimes does this on my stupid laptop. But what is he talking about? About this blur? I don't understand. Collect because. Stupid troll! Is he talking about my the thingy on my TV? As in my TV light? As in that? That is not a Blu-ray player. That is my TV. Thank you very much. No, 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 no! What are my legs doing on my? Tripod, they're being annoying. No, 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 no. Get up. Get up, all of you. Now, this is a bit better. No, no, no. Wrong video, wrong video, wrong video. Don't even have a blue ram in my bedroom. Because if you don't, you can't move on to the next. I have a pioneer blu ray player in my front room, not in my bedroom. And it's certainly not my TV. A text will scold you. I called you. By scold, I mean he would criticize you for missing the crystal, but he would only do it three times before he stops. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? What, does he 
find the does he find trolling unoriginal? This was 1997. Trolling wasn't popular back then. This joke is gonna be great. This video is gonna be better. That stupid troll. What the beep? What the beep? Gems also return, and you get them the same way as in the first game, where you basically destroy every single box and every level. But you're allowed to die as much as you want. It's nowhere near as evil as breaking the block in Super Mario Brothers because they weren't originally species unlike the blocks in Super Mario Brothers which were innocent toads. What? Oh yeah, run! Oh. Yeah, 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 a mean name? No, 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 no! This guy on the screen did! Beep you, Yoshi! You're lying! Ow! Ha, ah, I'm sorry, guy on the screen. I apologise a lot. Is this Skype? No, it's YouTube Bowser. Oh, then I'm stupid. Ha, ha, Bowser admitted he's stupid! He admitted he was stupid! Ah! Oh my god, I hate that stupid dinosaur! Like that joke? Will I be seeing that in Best Big Rumble 5? Yes, no? Oh, well, I'll just have to wait and see. Also, when you make Best of Big Rumble 5, put some more organization in it as well as better camera skills. As in, do not put random clips in from everywhere, just start off with clips from the earlier on, or from the. as in, do it chronologically. Start off with the clip from the earliest review that you pick and the earliest clip that's your favourite and then go through the rest of the clips that are your favourite in that video and then move on to the next video all the way up to my latest review at the time which would be my 40th but since I don't think you're that interested in what I'm planning anymore I won't, I will change my plans and I won't do an epic trailer. Ish. Thing. But some levels have two gems, which is sometimes a coloured gem. And you get these gems by an amount of ways. Going to a death room. Yep, you can go to a death room. And I apologise. Death room or death trap. Okay, so it's, everyone calls it a death room except you. Yeah, you weirdo! Yo, did you call me a weirdo? I called the guy on the screen a weirdo! Then you're a weirdo! Oh! Thank you. Vibes, who da deep cares? Which is basically a, an evil room which you reach. Why oh. right. not dying? And, what, and if you manage to reach about dying, you can play through this room and why don't you get to, to the end of the room? There's a jab. Just pretend there's a jab on the screen, okay? There's also coloured gem rooms, which you get to by collecting a coloured gem, then going into a level which has a coloured gem room, then you get on the coloured gem, and then you just go through the room. It's pretty simple. It's basically like the death room, except that instead of getting there without dying, you've got to get there with, you know... The required colour gem, and in the final level, you need all of the coloured gems to get through the coloured gem. I know this is completely out of topic, but I am not excited for Mario Party 10 at all. I am not interested in the slightest. I am because people will be able to play as me. Well, that's fair enough, I guess. Yeah, I agree with you, Big Red Boy. It looks lame. How oh, dare you, Yoshi? People can finally play as me, and that's awesome. 
I'll, uh, stop criticizing me, Yoshi, because I hate you more than anyone else. Why? Because I just do! Then why do you keep kidnapping having Peach? And why do you always want Mario dead? Because that's just how my work works. Your work works? Ah, forget it. I I know it was out of topic, but I don't care. And path to beat the level, so yeah. And these bone and these rows sometimes contain boxes and they sometimes oh, don't. It oh. really depends on the level. In the levels, hang eight and plant food, there is a time challenge where you need to beat the level before time runs out. So you basically need to turn into Sanic the BP. This is before Crash 3 is made. Oh no, not Sanic Joe. Hedgehog. Oh great! All of the jokes he used to love, now he hates them. I hate myself, and then all the new jokes I'm making, he he doesn't like, he's not a fan of them either. Oh my god, how am I supposed to satisfy you? Okay, he instantly regrets not wishing for this. I don't know, and I don't want to sound racist, but it kind of looks like he's... You know, I'm not going to mention I'm just going to keep it in my head. Is, does it have to do with fat Bowser over there? How dare you call me fat? No, it has nothing to do with Bowser whatsoever. This is the weirdest dance ever. Even weirder than the dance that <laughs> Angelica does in Rugrats. Totally fanny. <laughs> yeah, and that is a weird dance. Especially. <laughs> Were you happy to see that or not? I don't know anymore. I want to know what his favourite parts in the video were. No, oh, and he might not say anything about the SpongeBob video, unfortunately, but well, it's not the end of the world. Other gems, and this especially goes for the colour gems. Oh, well, a little bit more cryptic. Back when I was interested in the game back in 1997, I played it, and it took me forever to beat it 100%. The end. Well, I didn't beat the game 100% until a couple of days before I reviewed the thing! So, yeah, I actually beat Crash Bandicoot 2 100% after I beat Crash 1 100%. Twice! To be fair, it's not always cryptic. In fact, level one is a perfect example of it not being cryptic. Okay, once you've got your normal gem, you would revisit level, play through, and then you'd see the box counter. And it says 13 out of zero. And then you're like, That's if you collected 13 boxes like I did in that run through. I don't know, I must have collected, I don't even remember how many I collected back when I played this game back in 1998. And I grew up with a Japanese version, just let you know. What? I got 13 out of zero boxes, what does that mean? And then you think to yourself, hmm, maybe if I go through the entire level without getting a single box, I will get a gem, so I go... It took me a while to figure that out, because I was a stupid kid. I to try it, and then you try it, and once you get it, you're like, ooh, it's a blue gem, I've collected no boxes whatsoever, If you only collect the blue gem and nothing else, well, first off, you need to collect the white gem anyway, and second off, you'll only be the game 2%, and you won't even get past the first warp from. Silly. Yeah, and Cliffhanger Oka Oka is gonna be a villain in the first. Oka Oka? Oka Oka? I played the game and I'm pretty sure it's Oka Oka. And I'll play in Japanese, and even I know this stuff. I'm pretty sure they didn't change his name at all in Japan. I'm 100% sure, in fact. Even the spelling's the same. 
committing suicide. Good idea, Yoshi! Why don't you commit suicide? Because I don't want to anymore. Oh! You very helpful for me. So you pick it up and boom! Oh, you just cracked the bridge. Yeah. Oh, and that's the only level that does anything like that because the rest of the colored gems are a little bit more... Wait, wait. Can't be that well, the red gem, you need to find a secret exit in air crash and then go through the bonus stage or you can just, you know, use some of the speedrunning tactics to jump super high and get it early. Uh, but the rest are a bit more cryptic. Spiral! Let's sue the Sonic games for this. What? Let's hear this again. Let's sue the Sonic games for this. Only level that does anything like that because the rest of the colored gems are a little bit more. Wait, wait. Can you copy that sound from Spiral? Let's sue Insomniac Games with this. No, don't sue Insomniac Games from having for having coloured gems. I mean, gems in real life. There are loads of different types of jewellery which are basically gems, and there's tons of colours of them. You can't just blame Crash Bandicoot for the the different coloured gems. You can blame actual jewellery for that. Well, I don't know what inspired the colours, but I don't know. It took me so long to beat the game 100. percent Actually, my parents bought me a, a strategy guide back in the day, which helped me with all of these cryptic secrets. But the problem was that it still took me 10 years to beat the game 100 percent because of stupid s level 21. Yeah, level 21 is really annoying when it comes to beating 100 percent. I mean, you have to. Uh, you have. There's a death room halfway through the level, but you need to go even further through the level and reach the bonus stage. But that's not it. You need to go even further through the level to collect one box, which is so near the end of the level. Then you need to go back, and you'll most likely die because of cheap obstacle placement, and you need to use the super slide jump, which is not the best, which, while well, it works, it's not obvious to people who aren't Amazing at the game, or just beginning, or just not amazing, just not speedruns of the game, or don't know any speedrun tactics. And then they need to go through the actual death route. And if they die, they need to collect that stupid box again, unless they collected the checkpoint after they collected that stupid box. But even then, they could die before they reach the, check the death route, and then you'd have to play the whole level over again. And, oh, it's just so annoying. I totally agree with you. That. That level took me forever. I had 99% and it took me forever to beat that level. The end. I mean, collecting the actual gem in the death route isn't that hard, but collecting the box gem, since you have to go through the death route, it's just so annoying because the death route has boxes. Then you go to a brand new. It's a, it's a it's visible wall. Oh, do you realize that you the originality joke is supposed to be you know for something that's not original just let you know and it's I, I would say it's it's like I don't know it's not a, a visible wall it is a I don't know it's like in a game where you cross the boundaries and then there's some textures which you can go through because they haven't been programmed to have walls in front of them. It's basically that, but it's intentional. So I don't know what to call that. Unintentional go-through wall? 
Go through walls? <laughs> An, a non-existent wall? That's the best word I can come up with. A wall... A visible non-existent wall. That is the best ever come up with, and even that's flawed. The originality! Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? <coughs> oh god, that's a real visible wall. It's a wall to the portal to teleport here. Right here. To the secret exit. I wouldn't call it a portal because it doesn't look like you're jumping through a painting for Zoom Arrow 64. It just literally looks like you jump through a wall that doesn't even exist. I just came. Ha ha ha. Area. And can you guess what's on the other side of the area? No. Well. The Green Jam. How dare you spoil it, Yoshi? What's on the other Sorry. Side of the area. Ah. Green, so that's amazing. The green gem is in the sewers, and I'm green, and that's amazing. No one cares if you're green, Yoshi, but I am. But even Bowser's shell is green, but that's a dark green. I hate dark green. What did you say to me? What did you say about my beautiful shell? I said nothing. You said you hated my it's dark green color. Ow! <laughs> and I just split his body in half, but it's connectable. Is something special. Oh, fantastic. Or, and I mean, it's always special. Yeah, as if you know, the robots could, like, put gas on the, the sword, and then you, like, let, let it to yourself. Oh, wait a minute. I thought they were just fire. Uh, I'm just kidding. I thought they were just, like, let's remember, just one bite episode was Spongebob Squarepants. One of the most what the beat is this episode. Hey, look, beat became relevant to him again. But I find season one for three is awesome, and season four is great. But the rest of the seasons are all, all stupid. Considering that most people call season four terrible, that's interesting. Absolutely nothing. Well, there's actually a green gem there, but I've already collected it, so... Just pretend that the green gem is there! Yeah, because I'm green! The hell dare you not show it in the video because I'm green, and you better not miss out green because I love green so much I'll kill you. Yoshi's a bit violent, just keep that in mind. Well, I'll be carrying on now. So, yeah. I think that's good. One of the most what the beat is this episode? But I find season one to three is awesome and season four is great. But the rest of the seasons are all, all stupid and bull Saisha. Absolute What? But the rest of the seasons are all, all stupid and bull Saisha. Yeah, whatever he said. Ball Sasha. What the beep does that even mean? Absolutely nothing. Well, there's actually a green gem there, but I've already collected it, so... Just pretend that the green gem is there! And Yoshi and Bowser aren't here, but I don't care. Another evil example is in level 20. You see those nitro crates, right? And guess what? You can stand on those nitro crates, and once you get onto the top, you can go to this bonus round place, and there's a purple gem right around here, usually, but I've already collected it, so just pretend that that purple gem is right here. Just pretend it's there. It's usually there. Now, how is any kid back in 1997 supposed to figure that out? I mean, just... They don't find out by saying, ouch. I mean, I guess that you could have just, you know, looked at the game's official strategy guides. Which would have cost money, and I was just saying, bah. Yeah, whatever he said. I Still can't believe it doesn't offend him. Whoa, what? Hey, now, run, run, everybody, run! It's 
Hunter. Why? I done that. Should have told you about these secrets, and if it didn't, it would have been a terrible strategy guide. And if you lived in Japan, you could either look at the strategy guide, or you could watch the Crash Bash. Bullets in the kids' game? But this game was released seven years before E10 Plus even existed. Plus, it's not aimed for kids, it's aimed for both kids and adults. It's aimed for all ages. You shouldn't complain. There's no blood in the game, so don't worry. There's no violence, there's no bad language, so just don't worry. First special video, but... First off, you had to wait three years to see that, and second off, how will it be with the Japanese first host to guess the code? Because from my that is there a creepy pasta based on this? It has hidden code that just take you to the polar bear level. Uh, you can read it if you if you're free to try. So creepy pastas don't scare me. The end. Look, Tina Crash Bash Japanese. Guide. So how would a jammy person know the code? I don't know if the internet would have had it. I mean, it could have, but I don't know. Well, at least back in 2000. Because I was oh, you can run. Oh, okay. I didn't even exist. Yeah. Whatever he said. Bees. Bees. And then something else. This to know anything about oh, like the piece. So, whatever. That's enough to play with. Just guessing you stuff. Yeah, yeah, you got to get from me. You could pause the video, you know. You don't always have to talk over the video. I'd also like to mention the bonus rounds. You no longer save in the bonus rounds. Instead, the bonus rounds are only there to collect boxes, which actually do add up to the end box. You don't kill fruit. It's not possible to kill fruit. It's possible to destroy fruit, but not kill them. I'm not killing them on, but I'm just not collecting them. City boy. I don't say what anymore, or I might do sometimes, but that is my new way of telling him something that makes no sense. You save in this game? Well, I'm going to tell you. The game now has a hub world, and the saving bit is right here. It's a giant blank wall. They he is quite quiet most of the time. You can save and load your game on, so that is actually quite cool. And you have four files to save on, which is also quite cool. And they only take up one memory card block. I mean, one save just takes up one. And even if you do one save, it'll still only take up one block. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Whatever he said. All I heard him say was, what the heck? Then, that's all I could say. Altogether, in case, uh, I know it's hard to explain, but the multiple files do not require multiple blocks. I was going to cut this bit out, but since there was another bit, I just thought it would be unnecessary. So I just have to keep some of the dumb bits in. You only need one block to say all of them, which is actually... Awesome! And each hub world has five levels in each, which is actually really cool. Do you want to know why? Well, let's say you're playing a really hard level and it's annoying you. If this was the first game, then you just have to keep trying. But in this game, if a level is frustrating you, you can just simply... It was intentional. Actually, that fail was actually... That fail actually was a fail. Wait, it wasn't a fail, it was just me being, it was an accidental death. 
I was trying to find a bottomless pit so I could just slide down it, which would have been intentional. Quit out of the level, and yes, there's an actual pause menu in this game, which is quite cool. And in the options, there's actually an option known as CTR. Which I forgot to mention, the reviews to admit. me. Where I could have easily made a joke about that. And then all you have to do is go to a level which sounds cool to you. So, pick one of those levels. I mentioned before that there are five levels in each hub world, and there's a total of five hub worlds. You have um, the dirt levels world, you've got the ice I should have just, I should have just said dirt world. world and the, or jungle world. Oh, not all of the levels have the same theme. You've got the sewer world, and you've also got the cave world. Or mountain world, since I think that's what Bandipedia called it. And last but not least, you have. <laughs> well, it looks like he's more happy to see this than he was at Diddy Kong Racing. Anyway, once you've collected all of the crystals in all of the levels in that hub world, you can fight the boss of that hub world, and then once you beat that boss, you can go to the next world. And these bosses include. Don't worry, I'm not go I did not go into full detail on the bosses because that was a huge issue in my first full crash reviews. The rest of it was bad enough, but those last bits made it even worse. The very easy Komodo Brothers, Komodo Mo and Komodo Joe, or what my 12 year old self called them. I forgot to say what my 12 year old self called them. Komodo. <laughs> Basically, the Kamudu. Ha! You got that joke in the original review. Unfortunately, it wasn't a joke in my original review. It was intentional. I was so stupid that I couldn't say Komodo. I said Kamudu. That was a that was a mistake that I made in my original review. And he finds it funny now, considering I was complaining about it last time. Man, some people are weird sometimes. Tiny, the giant, orange tiger, emo, all time. Yeah, whatever he said. What are you disagreeing with me about? What? 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 The orange bar. running on Crash 2's engine and we'll see him again in Crash 3 where Crash 3 has an even better engine. <laughs> Get it? And last but not least there's the King of Trolls himself Bam. Dr. Neo Troll Tags I mean <laughs> Cortex Sorry, it's just that he's such a big troll at least in this game. And in Twin Sanity. His fight is incredibly easy. This is a stupid chase. Which is annoying, but incredibly easy. I mean, come on. This was a terrible final fight. You're just chasing Cortex and you've got to get him before he gets away. And it's easy, it's lame, it's stupid. And not a very good way to end the game. Let me just say that. Okay, run. Yeah. He's not running, he's floating. And now, while it is sad to try killing him... He's finally! Cortex is finally dead! Well, there's over 12 more games left, so... He's not dead yet. Yeah, and it even proves in the third game. And sorry for that little interruption, but... The no, ending is not worth it, because Coco tells you... NOT! What is the whole happen to Cortex? And what about the Cortex Cortex? It's still up there. Yep. Yeah. In case
case you don't know, Coco's basically saying, Crash, you missed the gems. Go back to levels and get the gems now. The Vortex is still there, so your life will never be complete until we destroy it. Get all gems, be get you, Coco. Why do you have to remind me of that? Get all of the gems, you have 20% ending. You get 20% after you beat nine levels. Silly. I got your I got your laptop battery back, so you better not make me do even any more evil tasks, Coco. Unfortunately she does. Collect all the gems. The game also has a few secret exits, which basically make you go a special route to find a secret exit which will take you. Please don't tell me that you hate my blush radio, then my eh. Why do you hate my videos? Because my videos come in like need to be improved. Only one of my friends, uh, probably all my people like my videos. Oh! He's basically saying that everyone but me likes his videos. That is actually a big fat lie. Because I'm pretty sure the only people who actually enjoy his videos, well, at least I don't, I only really see young children enjoying his videos. I do not see adults enjoying his videos. Because I've seen some of his first videos and they're pretty stupid. At least in my opinion. I would tell you why, but that's a topic that's not for now. Into the sick warp room, which is very mystical. And it's the sick warp room has three levels! That's right, three! And you can even see the other two islands in Crash 1, which is quite cool! And this is actually the top of Cortex's destroyed castle in the first game. That's also cool. Anyway, three of these levels are previous levels in the game. And basically, you need to go back to these levels so that you can get the red gem in snow go, the normal gem in air crash, and the normal gem in rope to ruin. And air crash, you need to go there to this secret entrance. But the snow go and road to ruin. Yeah, you need to go there. Or you could just be a dirty, skanky little cheater. Couldn't you? Except in crap. Except in air crash. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The camera. You see that here is respectable. No, the beep cares. What? Are you kidding me? But there are two. Is he angry that I put in a category joke? I don't know how to impress this guy anymore. Levels, and I'm not telling you which ones because I've spoiled enough mm. about secrets in this game. Right. They right. will take you to the portals right. to two completely right. brand new levels, which both have please, the word totally. Please take a break with your reviews. No, you can go to holiday in French in mid August. He's angry that I'm making reviews. So you so you don't want me to make reviews anymore. You don't want me to make my 40th review, which I thought you would really like. Okay. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Well. Fine. I won't make any more reviews ever again. Ever. I won't make my 40th review, which I thought you would love. I'm not gonna review it. If that's how. If that's what you want, you're not getting any more reviews. So, deal with it. If you're unhappy about this, then blame it on yourself, not me. When I go to France, I won't make. I will not make reviews. I will not. I am not an adult. I do not have to prepare as much. I don't have to worry about this stuff. Yet yeah, he's angry that I'm making reviews just because I'm going away. I'm not going away yet. I want. I can do what I want in the time in between. You do not need to complain. Do not be a baby. I'm not making reviews anymore. You don't want me to make reviews anymore and you're the only person who ever watches my reviews and likes them. So, I'm not making them anymore. It's your own fault. Why are you a stupid idiot? Well, you're gonna to have to travel a long, long way in order to do that. 
plus. Not everyone's gonna like your videos. It's something you have to to accept. Not everyone's going to enjoy your content. Even the most popular YouTubers, people still hate their videos. So you just have this. That's just something you have to accept in life. You know what? I might even put that in for every single sentence you say. Because nothing you say makes sense. Oh, oh, my God, that is weird. It's dark. Very, okay. very, but, but, very, but, but, very but, dark. Which shows this game's amazing draw distance in this level. Just look at this draw distance. It's amazing. I can only see, like, ten feet in front of me. This is incredibly incredible. Your singing is not going to make me feel any better. Dislike. Maybe it's just because I'm tired, but even when I recorded the last parts of this, I, it was n I was not tired, and I still didn't enjoy it for the most part. Seriously, this is getting boring. Oh. And that's saying something, because I didn't find this Digicon Racing Reaction video boring, and that was just as long as well. So, something has definitely gone wrong. Or maybe it's just my... Feelings right now, I don't know. You move around with either the D pad or the analog stick. Except for playing with PS7, of course, you the D pad because some evil, but. You know what? If you're not going to be quiet and let me enjoy the review, and if, and if you're not going to pause when you want to talk, then I am just going to skip ahead. Oh, no, hey, whatever. So jump, fun. you press the X button. He really doesn't pause enough to talk. I know that commentators sometimes talk over the footage, which does annoy me, but they don't do it as much as he does. He just does it so much that it's annoying. Or annoying. And, yeah, that's all I really have to say right now. But Crash has a few new moves. To slide, you press, you go into a direction, and then you press the circle button. Or a one button, and just... You press, you go into a direction. Even my English can be flawed sometimes, but that's how I mix things up. I was supposed to say you go into a direction, but I didn't. It's just mistakes I make. These just prove that my videos are unscripted. Yeah, even with the not perfect quality and the no script and the mistakes and me missing out things. He, they, my reviews are still his favourites on the internet. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, I'm just, just I just don't know what to think about that. I really picked a terrible level to show you off the controls. Is that you would slide, you let go of the analog stick, then you press the spin button. Here's a demonstration. Slide, let go of your direction, then press spin. Crash goes a lot. I don't know if it looks faster, but it definitely feels faster. 
And when you watch it on speed run, it definitely looks faster. Faster if you do that. This is what happens if you don't let go of the analog stick. And this is what happens if you do let go of the analog stick. Genius. That Not even he cares anymore. That's how boring this is becoming. Definitely help with speed running. And considering that I stopped halfway through the video and I'm watching it again, that is impressive that it's boring me. If you walk back to a super, super, super high jump where you can actually do a belly slam, which you can't do with your usual high jump, you slide, you jump, and then you just quickly spin, and boom, and you can then press a circle while in the air, or I want to do your belly slam. And here's a comparison on how this is better without super high jump. With super high jump! Incredible, eh? And there's also wiggling. If you, if you wiggle the analog stick while jumping, you can actually go a little bit faster and a little bit further. So that's definitely cool. I will admit that. And that's Plus, don't worry about my own holiday. Worry about your own one if you haven't been on it yet or if you're going on one. Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself. As for the controls in general. Yeah, he didn't skip any of the controls. Now he's skipping my. Now he's skipping my thoughts on the controls. Yeah, he didn't skip the actual controls. That is the dumbest thing ever. And not, and not even I thought of it because I got so bored and I'm trying to sit through this whole thing. They're responsive. They're fluent. They work when you want them to work. So he finds me explaining the controls okay, but he finds me telling everyone my thoughts on the controls sinful. Okay. Learning new things every day. This is over. Hello? And a cola, such an original name, and these levels are... Okay, let me go back. To polar bear levels where Crash gets on a... Why is he going backwards? Polar bear named Cola. Wait, is he going backwards? I can't remember. Such an original name. And these levels are like... Why like a cowboy? Me, that, That's not even a funny impression. That's just a dumb impression. You can charge on this polar bear, which is really cool. Has he even gone through puberty? Because he's still acting like a little kid. Surely his voice has gone deeper since he started YouTube, but his personality hasn't changed at all. That's saying something, he's still acting like a little kid. Yeah, ouch, that's what I have to say about this video. Ouch! It's not... It's not very fun to watch. Ouch! Those are dumb sound effects. Yep, he didn't explain, but he didn't skip my three minute explanation on the main controls. I will mention that I 
did go to slow down and the game sometimes freezing on me for like a second. But this could just be the, the problems with my discs. But I was playing for the Japanese version of the game for the review and it's in significantly better condition than my European copy and I don't know. I don't know if it's a problem with the discs. I said surfboard, not snowboard. It's probably the best bit. I see the music. I see the music. I see the music. I know, like, first game where there was. Oh, yeah, I just kidding. Some mediocre songs, all of the songs in this game. Yeah. Whatever he said. It sounded like he was getting excited. I was talking about the music, and then he said, just kidding. I'm confused. Absolutely great. I mean, I love the title. Uh, the music, music I always, you know, don't want to do it. What the heck? Yeah. Whatever he said. What the heck? That's all I heard. Shoot, I mean, I do really love the music. I mean, I love the music. I it sounded like he turned into a girl there. It was changed in the Japanese version, but luckily it was in the Japanese version of the game, it was changed to this. I can't say crush you Bandicoot if you're going to do a talent impression of the song. He doesn't even know the song. That's how you don't dance. That's not how you dance. This kid is showing you how not to dance. I'm not an expert on the lyrics, let me just say that. The sound effects are basically the same as in oh my God, That is... Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? The best bits in this video are actually the originality bits. And that's sad. Because they're not even mine or his. Seriously, sometimes it sounds like he's talking in the weirdest type of English that exists. Sometimes it sounds like, sometimes it doesn't even sound like English, it just sounds like he's mumbling so much that it just sounds so weird. It was 1997. By the way, exactly the same as he does. Plus, compared to Mario 64, it looks like modern day stuff. In the first game, so watch my re review -re on the first game if you want to know what he does. In case you haven't played the games and you don't know. <laughs> if there's one bad thing I have to say about the game, and other than the Lack of variety in levels. There is a variety, but it's nowhere near as deep as in the first game. Trust me, there's not many bad things about the game. Is the boss battle. Oh, the 
boss battles in this game are very easy once you know what you're doing. What? And they're not the most enjoyable fight. I mean, the bosses are okay, but there's certainly nothing special. And Cortex especially, he's just the, such a terrible final fight. Luckily, everything will be improved in the third game, but this is the second game, so... Alright, really Please, you're gonna be dead. Please, you're gonna get rocked. Yeah. Whatever he said. All I can say is that it sounded disgusting. That's all I'm saying. This game is great. Everything else about the game is great. Why is he panting like he was running instead like he was running away from a giant tiger? I mean it's weird. That that giant tiger is going to eat you if you don't hurry up. Music. Why don't you just look at the time frame on the review? My SpongeBob review was longer. And the lack of variety, and the and the shorter amount of variety than the first game, which I actually completely forgot to mention, which makes me feel stupid. I mean, there's like one pit where you fall down in one of the chase levels, and what? there's a bonus stage which you never oh, get. There. <laughs> Plus that bonus stage is boxes at the end. He speaks in some alien language, I guess, but I don't know which alien language it is because I am absolutely stumped. Video, this game is near flawless. It's fun. Oh, 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 oops, 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 oops. victory, fatality. It's not Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I don't remember my rating for the second game in my original review, plus my rating re has a, have changed. Overall, Crash Bandicoot 2, Coltex trolls back, oh I'm sorry, Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex strikes back, is how a sequel should be made. As well as Spyro 2, which you don't want me to review because I'm going away. I mean, this game basically took everything that was correct about the first game, and improved on it. Don't worry about my life, worry about your own life. In the sequel, and it took every battle about the original and improved it. Well, except for the boss battles, but still, they, this game added more, it was more fun, it had a lot of challenge, but the challenge was fairer than in Crash 1, and the box system, I didn't mention how the box system works in this game, but it's better than in Crash 1, because you know, in Crash 1, you died, you could go back, you could go back to the boxes and collect them. Mm -hmm. However, in Crash 2, once you died, it would literally save all the boxes you collected, <coughs> and then you could actually go back and collect the gem, even if you died, which was a fantastic improvement, which I forgot to mention earlier, but I'm mentioning it now. So yeah, this game looks great, it sounds great, it controls great, overall this game is great. I would give it an A. I wouldn't give it an A plus because the bosses do suck and there's less right in the first game than that in the first game. And well, it is quite cryptic, but it is still a very fun game which I definitely recommend. And the Japanese version of this game, well, despite misspelling Cortex on the side of the box, seriously, yeah. Cortex strikes back. <laughs> it is... 
What do you find so funny? Still a great game for collectors. I mean, it's got quite a few differences from the, Euro the European slash North American versions, and it's just as fun as those versions. Plus, here's another cool thing about the Japanese version, only the Japanese version. If you hold left circle L1 and R1, you will be able to watch the most epic thing Crash Bandicoot related ever. The Crush You Bandicoot music video, which you'll be seeing at the end of the video. Or will you? But overall, Crash 2 is basically a sequel at its finest. This is how you make sequels, guys. This game. And one year later, Naughty Dog will do it again with Crash 3, which was an improvement over Crash 2, okay? Compared to Crash 1 and 2, it was like, boom, I completely kicked your beep, Crash 1. Oh, uh, Crash 3 is more like... You're not funny. <laughs> oh, haha, take that, Crash 2. <laughs> I mean, if you compare Crash 1 to Crash 2, Crash 2 literally hits a home run with Crash 1, which goes like into the sun, or maybe even further. However, with Crash 2 and Crash 3, Crash 3 basically gives that home run, but just over the field. Crash 3 is still a great game, and an improvement over number 2, but that's a topic for another day. But anyway, thanks for watching my re-review on Crash Bandicoot 2. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you want to watch my original review for some reason, then... Go and watch that, I might put a link in the description. And if you want to watch my Crash 1 re-re-review, I will also put that in the description. But anyway, this is Big Bad Bot, signing out. What? Oh, okay, this review's... Now, that Cortex bit was... Now, Cortex trolled you. There's no music video because Cortex trolled you. Amazing, but... It's amazing even though he didn't seem amazed. I had to put the uh, Cortex troll face like, at the end. So yeah, guys, this is a review that's better than the original. So yeah, this is actually better than the original. Because that's a like, great moment. Like, the Seneca head, Sonic the hate jug. He like... He, he both loves and hates reused jokes. The caddy joke, again... Um, and even though I hope it Wait, that caddy joke I never used in any of my other reviews. Might use it in the future, but I haven't used it before this. Don't do that sound for joke again. What the heck? Even though I love this review, this is better than the first, than the original review, but... He didn't seem amazed, and now he seems amazed. I said this is better than, uh, than the original review, because why I said it? Because that's some great moments, like... The, 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 the Cortex troll phase, the... Let me see, uh, do I missing something? Let me see, the... The Kamenu Brothers from the Little Review flashback, and even more. So yeah, guys, I will see you for more videos, like like more plush videos, and more Talking Friends videos, and Emmett Unlimited Part 6, so... Unfortunately, I don't think many people would care, but... Maybe one, maybe a few people this planet would care. But yeah guys, I will see you for more videos, so bye for now, bye! But here comes the troll face. <laughs> yeah, I'm a troll. Look at that, 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 for that! No, no, no. Don't ruin it! No, 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 no! Get off my table! No, we're gonna not try to have time for that! I don't get it. Hey, no. I will delete it. I will end it. Okay. Bye. Bye for now. Bye. Oh. So that was his video, and yeah, I wasn't a fan of it. It it was it bored me through the second half, and it just wasn't his best one. Let me just say that. While I while I did enjoy the originality jokes, they were just randomly there. I didn't even understand why I put them there. Was it because of my reused jokes, or was it because I re-reviewed the game, or... I don't even beeping know. 
But all I have to say was this is not my favourite. I'm not saying delete it. I am not saying that at all. Just keep that in mind. But I am saying that try and make it less boring and less annoying for the next reaction video. And you're not stopping me from making my next review. I will make my next review whenever I want to. My, fr my French trip will stop me from making a review, but it won't stop me making one before I go. It will not stop me. That emotional thing I went on earlier, it was a lie. I will make another review whenever I want. I still want to know if you want to see me review Spyro 2, because if you don't want me to review Spyro 2, I will actually review it in the future. However, if you don't, I won't review it. But anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, please comment, rate, subscribe, and I may get dislikes for disliking this video, but hey, I don't even know how many people care about this, but whatever. I mean, my Super Smash Bros. VLA reaction video on his reaction video on my review, that received a lot of hate. But anyway, this is Big Bang Bot signing out. And Yoshi and Bowser are also saying goodbye, but no one can hear them because I stopped them from coming here.